And one of the important things for us to watch for in this passage and throughout Nehemiah is in our title. Our title for this is Rebuild. And God specializes in rebuilding broken things. In this case, there are broken internal relationships that get put back together through a confrontation of sin and personal repentance. So let me ask you this question. Are you on the other side of that equation? Is there something that's wrong in your life that God has brought up and it just needs to be changed? I've been so proud of some of the guys who have talked to me in the wake of the uh, Dirty Laundry series who have said, you know what, I'm changing my behaviors. I'm giving up porn. One guy who says I'm not going to engage in prostitution anymore because I see how deeply it hurts me and the people that it affects. I'm super proud of him for turning from the things he had done that was wrong. Maybe that's what God's convicting you of, or there's a whole world of things that God may be speaking to you about today. Maybe he's been speaking to you about it through a book you've been reading or through your Bible reading, through circumstances in your life. Maybe it's been through a message that you've heard here on Sundays. Or maybe he's speaking to you through the hardest way ever to hear, through your spouse. Maybe your takeaway this morning is to do just what the people did. Admit it. You're busted. It's time to give in to the ways of God and turn with humility towards him to change your thinking and change your behavior. That's what the idea of repentance is. And sometimes people think that repentance means to feel really, really bad about yourself, but repentance means to have a change of mind and it results in a change of direction. It means to turn from the way you were going and go a different way. That's what the people did here and it brought about unity for everybody. Perhaps that's what you need to do as well. It was so core to Jesus' message. When Jesus went all around Galilee, his message was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Turn from what you were doing wrong, have a change of mind, a change of life, and join in with this great momentum of God's kingdom in this world. See, any time there is going to be progress with the kingdom, there's going to be a clash between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. For some people, that means you're part of the kingdom of life and light, and you're going to need to expose what's happening in the darkness. For other people, what that means is the kingdom of light is crashing into you, and God's asking you to make some changes inside your life to change from the inside out. And perhaps that's exactly what God wants you to do. What you, do, what you find when you turn from your wrongdoing, <laughs> you go in this way and you say, I'm going to change my mind and turn around. As soon as you turn around, you find out that God was right there behind you. It's like you turn and you bump into him because he's been pursuing you your whole life. He loves you. And he wants you to come home and turn to him. Matter of fact, he loves you so much that he said, I'll give my own son as a sacrifice so that you don't have to pay for your own sins. I'll pay for your sins for you. So all you have to do is turn to me and you can enter into a relationship with me. I care about you so much that I've made a pathway for you to get back into a good stead with me. And I'll trade all of your bad deeds for my good deeds. And that's a good deal for you. God loves you that much. And he wants you to turn to him. And you'll find that when you turn to God, he'll be waiting for you. He's been waiting for you all the time. One of the things I found is that whoever runs to God makes it every single time. God loves you and he wants you to be back in his arms.